Hi guys, today I'm starting a new series. I don't know if it will be weekly, I will try to stick to it and make this weekly, but I, at least there will be some of these um, monthly. So definitely once in a month, but I will try to make this a weekly series and it's called Cake Basics. It's gonna be also some uh, more difficult recipes, but it's just the things that I think um, make your life easier when you start baking and making cakes more and more. So it will be recipes, basic recipes that uh, will then be used for some cakes or to create some goodies or whatever. So it's all kind of cake related um, topics. So if you have any uh, suggestions, let me know what you would want to see first and I will take those into consideration. And today I'm starting with a pretty simple but uh, maybe challenging recipe for some. So this is going to be the Swiss meringue recipe. I will show you how to um, create the meringue and then at the end of the video I will add some examples for you to see what you can use the meringue for. So the meringue is great for meringue kisses, for topping some cakes or you can also use it to make Swiss meringue buttercream but that I'm going to show you in a new video. Also with all these recipes or all these tutorials you really want to check the recipe and the blog post on my website because there I will be sharing some tricks and uh, some uh, problem solving um, tips because sometimes it can happen that something happens which maybe doesn't happen to me while I'm filming the video so I want to mention those so that you know that if something like that happens then there is a way to solve the problem or what that means. So definitely check the recipe which is linked in the description box and the blog post. So not just the recipe, the blog post has often some uh, more or some extra information. I don't want to make the video too long so that's why I've packed the extra information there. And also if you have any questions I'm more than happy to help so if you watch the video and you think oh I didn't understand this then let me know in the comments and I'm more than happy to help. But now let's get started with making the meringue. I have my room temperature egg whites here. I'm using just two, but you can also double or triple the recipe depending on how much you will need. I'm just making a topping for a cake, so I only need two this time. So I want to add the sugar to the egg whites. And then what we are going to do, we are gonna heat the egg whites while whisking over a water bath until it's reached 65 degrees. So you really want to keep on whisking the mix while you're heating it all the time so that it doesn't uh, start cooking. So if you stop whisking there's a risk that uh, the egg whites will cook and then you will just have like egg whites scrambled eggs which you don't want to have. So keep on whisking. egg whites are ready they've heated I've heated them to 70 uh, Celsius degrees and uh, now you would want to transfer it to a standing mixer if you're using a standing mixer I'm using a hand mixer this time to just uh, see how well it's gonna work with a standing mixer and before I start mixing I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla and then you just want to whisk until the meringue becomes glossy. So I'm going to be showing you how you want it to look. Okay. 
to want to whisk the meringue until you reach this kind of uh, consistency so that the meringue keeps its shape. You could also test by turning the bowl around and if the meringue stays in the bowl then um, it's ready. And then you would want to use it right away so if you would be proceeding to making a buttercream then you would want to add the butter to the meringue and continue whisking until you get a smooth buttercream or you can just uh, make the meringue kisses out of this right away pipe them right away or use it to top a cake that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna link the cheesecake that i'm gonna use this meringue for so now you know how to create a beautiful and glossy meringue I used mine this time for a delicious cheesecake. I will add some pictures for you here. What I did, I topped the cheesecake with the meringue and then I um, torched the meringue and it tasted just like marshmallows. So yummy and perfectly good to go like that on a cheesecake. I've also used that on a lemon cheesecake and it just makes it perfect. So now I'm going to say goodbye and you will see some of those pictures of the meringue on the cheesecake. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget that thumbs up so I will know that you're liking these and subscribe for the next tutorial that is coming soon. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.